Well, it's done, done, and it's on to the next one. You know, it seems to be a fairly popular genre game for developers, the platformer. Perhaps because they're often money in the bank and they can be quite, you know, formulaic. All perfectly playable, you understand. There's no wrong with your Jacks and Daxters or your Blinks or your Vexuses, says, 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 says. But how's about this one, Kaya for the PS2? Well, it's an Atari baby and ah, isn't it lovely? No problems with the visuals, it's a beautiful, beautiful thing. Character designs push all the right buttons and your main character's suitably inoffensive. But let's move on to the game, I know there's one thing you want me to talk about. Because there's always one thing you want to talk about when it comes to 3D platformers. What is it? That's right, the camera. Is the camera an arsehole, Ryan, you shout? Well, I'll tell you, but keep your voice down, my granny's trying to sleep. I'm afraid to say, the camera is indeed a bit of the arsehole variety. It plays like it's tied to a winch 400 feet in the air, which really makes you worried for the later levels. But again, this doesn't make it unplayable. Bloody annoying maybe, but it does make it unplayable. And thankfully my reservations were unfounded. As always, you'll adapt to the shortcomings of the game, and you'll become consumed by the good things, such as life. Pay attention people, don't make the mistake of putting this effort down after an hour, because you stay the course and as the banner says in Pool Evil, you get the victory. As I've said, your areas are a little undeveloped, but this and my humble Glaswegian just had five beers opinion as a problem of my generation's gaming mentality. We know 2D beats 3D 999,999 times out of a million, and that's the fact. Play a great 2D platformer and you're part of gaming at its centre. You're in the fast beaten love filled heart of games. So never mind is it right for me to be harking back to the days of old with games in general, is it in any way right or fair to compare a 3D platformer to the 2D elite? No, you're fucking right isn't it? And watch your language, my parents are watching this. So let's look at this like it's the first time we've played a game. What buttons do you press? How many levels does it have? What about those graphics Jamie? Sorry, I couldn't resist. Kaya is huge, it's a heavy hitter at about 15 hours, and it hooks you with familiar yet tasty bait, mini games. As you play the main quest, you exercise the wolfen, turn them to natives, the natives go back to the village, build shops and huts with lovely fatty mini games. All of which are a bloody romp. As it turns out the most annoying thing about Kaya is the bad guy, as far as I can tell, I admit it, I haven't finished it. Ooh, get him off! Fuck you. The bad guy is called Alan, which I don't understand the logic behind, because I knew an Alan once and he was alright, and it never crossed my mind once to defeat him. If you want to play a platformer that hods on to the 2D magic, try doing me a personal favour, look at it, soak it in, then go and buy it. And if you like games, you like platformers, and you'll like this, it's perfect.